I'm going to make sure that every single course uh, you actually can walk away with actionable items that you can start to do right from the get-go to get you closer and closer to that goal. Amazing, amazing. So obviously, and, and that is how, how I came across you and Wolfco, right? Because it was this beautiful, amazing, in enhanced platform full of knowledge where you can find a lot of information that is helpful for entrepreneurs like me. And, and like you said, I mean, this sea of information that you find on the internet, and a lot of it is a waste you know, sadly enough. Um, and, and you have been able to actually curate a lot of this information and create really condensed and valuable content um, with people that actually are very knowledgeable on the topics of marketing. Amanda Tyler is the founder of Wolfco, a community platform and academy for creative entrepreneurs to learn how to build and market their brands through digital marketing and social media. They offer courses, workshops, and coaching all taught, led, and created by fellow entrepreneur, creators, and experts. Time to find out more on the Entrepreneurial Vibration Show with your host, Sandy V. Terry. Thank you so much, Amanda Tyler. And I said that right, it's Tyler, because she's <laughs> Um, I wanted to make sure I always pronounce the names correctly. So thank you so much for joining. Um, Amanda is actually a digital marketeer herself, and she's also an entrepreneur. And she um, has been actually helping a lot of entrepreneurs and in her journey. And she provides workshops and online trainings. And she actually partners with a lot of these other entrepreneurs to put all these together. And it's a lot of content that she puts in on a day in and a day out basis um, just to help people all the time. So Amanda, why don't you just tell us what is it that you do and what is your company all about? Yeah, thank you for having me and thank you for pronouncing my name right. Sure. So I founded the Wolf Co., which is an online platform, community, and academy for entrepreneurs to learn how to build and market their brands through digital and social media. I have about 10 years experience in marketing and probably three to four in digital marketing. Um, so digital is still pretty new to me. I'm all self-taught in that realm, um, but I quickly fell in love with it actually after experimenting with some um, paid advertising on Facebook. So I've just been obsessed with digital marketing ever since. And my company, I work with a lot of different entrepreneurs, as you said, and we really come together to build the content to provide to other entrepreneurs who are just starting out, trying to figure out where the heck to begin. I don't know if I'm allowed to swear, so I'll say heck instead um, yeah. and uh, they it's just like such a process when you're first starting you have so much information being thrown at you you're not really sure what's good what's bad and you're spending all this time and energy just trying to find answers for your business so I thought I want to create a place that entrepreneurs can go to learn the skill set that they need to succeed without right. having to spend hours and hours searching and wondering if the content is actually good. So mm -hmm. a part of my um, values and my mission with Wolf Co. and the Wolf Academy is a no fluff policy. So all the content is heavily vetted. I create it with the other entrepreneurs and make sure that you know, they're putting 100% into it as well, because I just found I spent so much money on courses and ebooks and e-guides and events. And I would leave it at the end being like, what did I actually learn? What did I take away from that? I already knew all that stuff. Right. Um, and I, I like to be able to at least take one thing away from everything that I do. Um, and it just wasn't like that. So I said, right. enough, I'm going to make sure that every single course, uh, you actually can walk away with actionable items that you can start to do 
right from the get-go to get you closer and closer to that goal. Amazing. Amazing. So obviously, and, and that is how, how I came across you and Wolfco, right? Because it was this beautiful, amazing, and enhanced platform full of knowledge where you can find a lot of information that is helpful for entrepreneurs like me. And, and like you said, I mean, this sea of information that you find on the internet, and a lot of it is a waste, you know, mm -hmm. sadly enough. Um, and, and you have been able to actually curate a lot of this information and create really condensed and valuable content um, with people that actually are very knowledgeable on the topics of marketing. Um, and I know this because I am a marketeer myself, right? So I've been through some of your courses and I've listened to some of your uh, webinars. So I know the value that you're bringing to your audience. Now, um, let's go back a little bit, right? So obviously you've been an entrepreneur, I mean, a marketeer yourself. So, but how did Wolf Call come about? Like, how do you start? Because obviously you thought about the idea of creating a platform, right? That is full of, it's a network of other marketeers, like-minded people like you that can contribute towards building this network, network of people and content. But how do you come up with that idea? And how do you come up then with the network of people uh, to build all this amount of content that you're putting out on a day-to-day -day basis? <laughs> okay, let me try to condense the story a little bit for you. <laughs> and, and actually, you know, if you have to go back and, you know, start from the beginning, let's do yeah. this. <laughs> I'm really interested in knowing how yeah. all these come about. Yeah, I mean, right from the get-go, even when I was younger, I was very entrepreneurial. Maybe that's not even the right word. I was rebellious. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just like never really liked rules. I, I'm not joking. I really just never liked rules. Um, not that I was uh, like bad about it. I just always wanted to do things my way. Um, and I thought that there's multiple ways that you can accomplish something. It didn't have to be so black and white. I live very much in this gray area uh, <laughs> my whole <laughs> life. So I always just um, wanted to like do things differently. I learned this growing up, any project that was put in front of me, if I was given instructions A, B, C, and D, I always had to add E, like a little <laughs> extra, a little extra something mm -hmm. that brought like an Amanda flavor to it. Um, but for years and years, I was, you know, I did the traditional route. I went to school twice. Um, so I have like a diploma and a degree. And then I went back again to do project management, but never ended up doing anything with that because um, it was quite boring. Um, <laughs> I got my nine to five jobs and I started a very traditional marketing career path, you know, as an assistant, then moving up to a specialist, and then you move into like a junior manager kind of role and then into a management and leadership style role. Um, so it was about, I think two years ago, I was working for a company for almost three years and I ended up getting asked to leave this company um, that I really put my heart and my soul into um, the brand. I was their brand manager. It wasn't developed and I, feel like I did such a good job and made it come such a long way. And that job actually is what got me so interested in digital marketing. That's where I had the first instance of, we're going to create some Facebook advertising here. And I always like compared it to like betting on horses. I felt like such a rebel, I guess, and a badass <laughs> that I was gambling in a way, but not really because something inside of you sparked, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, Oh no, I better be careful. I'm going to get addicted to this. Um, but it was really, really, uh, an exciting job. But unfortunately I got asked to leave. My ego was just devastated Batter. about all of that, but my soul was free, um, because there was a struggle there for a while. I became very unhappy. It was, 
um, you know, a really, really hard time for me going into work every single day and just feeling horrible. Um, so in a way I wanted to leave, uh, but when you grow up with like such a traditional trajectory, there's that part of you that's like, well, no, you can't just leave. You can't be that rebellious, Amanda. Um, you have to still pay for stuff and you need to like stand your own and be independent. So I was very, very torn. I was told not to quit. Um, and then fortunately, but unfortunately, I got asked to leave, which is when I really started to put my heart and my soul into Wolf Co. Um, this idea for Wolf Co had started while I was working at that company. And it actually started out in the fitness industry. Mm -hmm. So I started like a fitness Instagram account with one of my friends and we started making, um, so you were working time. full time, sorry to interrupt, but so you were working full time and at the same time you were having this desire inside of you that you're like, Hmm, maybe I should be doing this. And you were having these ideas, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Almost like, why am I? making this company all this money when I could do this for myself. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, I know how to do this. So, right. um, yeah, it started out in fitness. We created um, fitness guides and like, I just really liked to brand these things more than anything. Um, I was a figure skater back in the day, a competitive figure skater. Wow. So fitness has been a part of my life for a while. Um, and then I kind of stopped in university a little bit, you know, because of other extracurricular activities, but mm -hmm. came back to me. Uh, so we did the whole fitness thing and yeah. then, um, it turned into, um, I started to create a marketplace for fitness and wellness. So anybody mm -hmm. who was, um, selling a fitness or wellness product or service could post it on my wolf co site and we would sell the products kind of like a mini amazon like micro mini amazon mm -hmm. <laughs> okay because i've done did you have that at level. that time that idea that vision that you wanted it to be like a micro mini amazon for the fitness industry mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah that's what i was going for and like i didn't even call it a micro mini amazon like i literally said Mm -hmm. You can think of this like Amazon. That's how my brain was thinking. Uh -huh. um, I never liked to think of my ideas as little or small, even at the beginning stages, because mm -hmm. I feel like you really just then put yourself into a box yes. and you um, stop the possibilities of where it could grow to. Exactly. When you like that, that's your first instinct is that it's little then how is it supposed to explode? Now we would love to hear from you. Tell us on the comments below. Was this advice helpful to you today? And how can you put some of what you learn into practice right away to start to see a difference in your entrepreneurial journey? Also, don't forget, if you found this podcast helpful, make sure to subscribe, share with your friends, and hit the like button so we know to make more podcasts like this one.